Hello everybody, my name is Bodo Mitrescu and today we're interviewing Susie Smith. Uh, Susie uh, is an international NLP trainer and also developer within the field of NLP. And she's a co-founder together with Robert Diltz and Tim Helben of the World Health uh, Community. And she's also a trainer in the health certification training. So Susie, thank you so much for doing my this pleasure. interview with us. Uh -huh. Um, how did you get into NLP, uh, like your first moment when you found out that NLP existed? How uh, uh, was it? It was a very interesting experience because I work with, uh, for many years I worked with Tim Hobbom. Yeah. He and I actually had a training company before we discovered NLP. We taught people how to cope with stress and, and uh, time management workshops and effective supervision. Mm -hmm. And one of our students in one of our workshops um, showed Tim the eye chart that's mm -hmm. often referred to in NLP and yeah. she, she came up at, on a break in one of our workshops and said, Tim, I think you're visual. <laughs> it's the way you move your eyes. See this chart? Mm -hmm. And so he was fascinated. He took the, this uh, book home to, to look at it yeah. and came back the next day all excited to where we worked and said, we have got to learn about this stuff, Susie. <laughs> and so uh, we were just starting our own business at that point, um, small training company, mm -hmm. and we traveled to Colorado every month and back to do the practitioner training from where we lived in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah. And, um, and, it, and it was through this one woman saying, Tim, I think you're visual. <laughs> and, and he said, I think this stuff would be really make us more effective. Okay. And so it, it was just by chance. Just by chance, you just rolled yes, into it. Yes, by chance. And we went over and started studying it. And by the third module of our practitioner training, we were already integrating NLP techniques into wow. our workshops. Fantastic. And what was it that kind of grasped you, that hooked you on to this NLP? Because you have so many techniques everywhere, you know. Well, what was it? I'll tell you what it was. We had been teaching in our stress management workshops how to visualize to get mm -hmm. what you wanted. Yeah. And it worked only part of the time based on what we had read in books and learned yeah. from other things. Yeah. When we added the idea of some modalities in to visualization that if you if you fully expected something to happen yeah. rather than just hoped it would happen yeah. it would work a hundred percent of the time wow. and it was like oh so we have to learn more yeah. about the way the the people process information and think because we saw that it could make a huge difference. And what year was this when you first uh, encountered? Oh, it was 1983 when we took our practitioner training. Mm -hmm. And it was actually about 1981 or 82 when this student came up yeah. um, and said, I think you guys would really enjoy learning more about this new technology called NLP. Yeah, yeah. wow. And, and we saw that it was, that it would work so much more consistently because of the concepts of adapting to the way the brain works yeah. and the way people think. And effectively using yes, it. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And you devoted quite a big part of your life to health and well-being, yes. that aspect of NLP. Uh -huh. yeah. And you set up this world uh, health community. Yes. How did that come about? How did you... Well, actually, we began um, offering practitioner trainings mm -hmm where we lived in Salt Lake City in 1985. Yeah. And uh, the, the man that was sent in to certify our practitioners for us was Robert Diltz. Uh, and yeah. he had just begun working with his mother who had been ill. And Tim and I had put a lot of focus when we taught stress training on the way people behave that actually creates a different body chemistry mm -hmm. and how if they changed their behaviors, yeah. they could change what happened inside their physical body mm -hmm. and impact their health. Wow. And 
we were so interested in that already. And then we meet this young man named Robert Deltz, who is using NLP concepts to assist his mother in healing. And it was a natural match from the very beginning. From when wow. we first met Robert in 1985, it was like, we have to cooperate and coordinate yeah. what we have already learned with what Robert knows about NLP and yeah. the many concepts. And so it was, it was natural for the three of us to start working together yeah. and figuring out how we could make a difference with people's health yeah. using NLP.